Here with Lenny Acuff after Lipscomb's loss to Belmont. Coach, uh, what'd you tell your team after this one? Well, I was proud of hard we fought. You know, obviously we're really shorthanded right now, and um, but we have battled like crazy. You know, we lost two games on the last play of the game, and then tonight we got the ball down four twice in the last minute. And that's what we wanted to do, try to get the game in the last four minutes. And they're, I mean, obviously they're very talented, and um, but I was really proud of our resolve and our fight. Yeah, your first game in this rivalry, what was it like, your experience-wise? Well, it was great. I, I appreciate all our people that came out. I thought they were um, you know, extremely supportive, and it was a great atmosphere. You know, it, 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 when, we, when we could get the ball to go on the goal, it really kind of got going in here, and I thought the crowd really kept us engaged because there was several times we were on the mat, you know, we got back up. How big was that second half run they came out on? I mean, kind of yeah, put you down a little you know, bit. You know, they were, I don't think they were three for 17 in the first half from three. That's not going to happen again. They just shoot it too good. Um, yeah. But I thought we did a good job defensively for the most part, but they just make you pay when you when you make mistakes. And you can't give them two or three shots at a time. They're just too good offensively. Yeah. Uh, these close games that you mentioned your team's been in, is there something to learn? I mean, is, is your team close yeah. to breaking that barrier? Yeah, yeah you know, it, it's one of those things we're just so young and inexperienced. I mean, they lost seven of their top nine guys from last year. and It's basically a whole new team. We got eight freshmen. and. But, but we're, we're right there, you know, but we got to figure out a way to push it over the top. You know, we, we lost our best perimeter player, Buckland, midway through the second half. He don't play the last 12 minutes, and yeah. he's kind of our stabilizer. He's our anchor, and um, he's the one perimeter player back that played very much for him last year. But, but you know, it, we're going to keep fighting. You know, we just got to hang in there until we get to January and get to league play. Yeah, the local kid, KJ, I yeah. mean, how, how special is he? He just looks like he's yeah. not a freshman. Well, you know, the thing about him, first off, he's a great kid, and he's got the heart of a line. And, you know, and he's learning, he's figuring it out, but he's got a chance to be a special player, and, and he, got, he runs to the fight, and that's what you're looking for. Coach, well, thank you for your time. Thank Appreciate you, it.